Forewarn weather with Damian Lotus. I'm once again tracking record high temperatures possible for parts of Oklahoma. This is going to be a very early June like forecast here for some parts of the state. Let's get right into the latest here on your Tuesday afternoon. I'll start you off with a time lapse and over the last hour here. This is from our 50 pin camera looking off to the east and as you can see nice blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. We're going to see plenty of sunshine here for today. Our visible satellite loop is showing that over the past hour we've had some pockets of dense fog this morning. One across northern Oklahoma, another pocket across southeastern parts of the state. But over the last hour you can see these pockets of dense fog are slowly starting to burn off as we start to warm up outside. Temperature wise, we're already in the low 80s here for some parts of the metro. 80 for Oklahoma City, 81 for Chandler and Davenport, 81 as well out west for you folks in El Reno. Across the rest state, you can see where that pocket of cooler air is from that fog across northern Oklahoma. For the rest of us, we have a temperature mix of 70s and 80s and strong south winds gusting 20 to 30 miles an hour. And unfortunately, those winds are kicking up a lot of pollen. Take a look at this, the ragweed and the tree pollen, those are elevated to a high. So if you're wondering why you're struggling with your allergies for today, wondering, hey, it's mid-November, shouldn't we be over this already? Well, not really. Whenever you have temperatures in the 80s and strong south winds, allergens will stick around. But as we head throughout this afternoon, I'll be tracking lots of sunshine, not a cloud in the sky as we head throughout today. Highs will be near records here for this afternoon. Sunset's going to be at 530 and after that temperatures will trail off into the 70s here as we head into this evening. Before today, highs will be a mix of 80s and 90s, 90s across western and southwestern parts of the state for this afternoon. Looks like we'll tap 81 for Ponca City, 82 in Enid, 87 degrees. Today, my forecast high for you folks in Stillwater. Across central Oklahoma, temperatures will be in the low to mid to upper 80s, 87 today in the hometown of Kingfisher. For today, the record high for Oklahoma City is 86. That was set back in 1980. We're going to challenge that record here as we head into this afternoon and because of the winds we will see elevated to extreme fire danger conditions here for central and western Oklahoma so heads up for that. As we head into tonight overnight lows will be in the 40s across northwestern Oklahoma and the panhandle for the rest of the state will be in the 50s and 60s. Very mild weather here for tonight with light winds. 55 tonight the overnight low for Oklahoma City. We will see wind chills dipping into the 30s for some parts of northwestern Oklahoma, but overall wind chills won't be much of a factor here for tonight. I'm still going to be tracking some dense fog primarily across southeastern Oklahoma. It looks like it should stay clear for the most part here across the Oklahoma City metro. And then for tomorrow, a cold front is going to sweep its way across the state. Behind the cold front, temperatures will be in the 60s and 70s. For the rest of us, we'll be in the 80s and 90s, near record high temperatures possible once again tomorrow. And on the leading edge of that cold front, that will kick off some rain chances here across eastern Oklahoma. Looks like it'll stay dry here for Oklahoma City until Thursday. Thursday, we're going to see highs dropping from the 80s to the 50s with, 50s with widespread showers. Best chance of rain is going to be across southern and southeastern parts of the state. We'll see some decent rainfall here as we head throughout the day on Thursday. In the meantime, here for your seven day forecast, today will be sunny. It will be warm. It will be windy. Highs today making it to the mid 80s. Our record high for today is 86. We're going to challenge it for this afternoon. Tomorrow, that cold front sweeps its way through, bringing a really good chance of rain on Thursday. And highs are going to go from the 80s to the 50s. So very moderate weather here as we head into the weekend. A low chance of rain Saturday morning, but after that, really nice weather for your Veterans Day weekend. And one thing I do want to point out, those numbers that you saw at the bottom of your screen, once again, doesn't look like we're going to see freezing temperatures for Oklahoma City for at least the next seven days. That sounds good. It does. All right, Damien, thanks.